In fee versus happy. On turn on stand. And this time the matchup is not going to be human versus undead, but it's going to be orc versus undead. As Infi has switched race. The map, of course, is uh, Terranastan LV, so the new version. Ready to work. Work complete. Ready to work. As we see the orc opening with a Shadow Hunter, while the undead is opening with a standard EK Acolyte moving towards the upper left side of the map. to do some scouting. Peon is gonna build a shop close to the mirror camp and uh, Inf is preparing to creep the renegade wizard level 5 with one grunt and the Shadow Hunter probably triggering the Lightning Shield here for some faster creeping. The Happy is moving. Okay, he's not trying to creep Jack or do anything here because he knows that it's probably gonna be too late. Yeah. So he's just going for the item here at the Rogue Wizard level 3. And I think if you don't use the Lightning Shield here. The Death Knight can arrive in time to steal some creeps, but because if he is using the Lightning Shield to creep faster, then you won't be in time, so it's better to creep. So he gets an amazing item, the Potion of Greater Reeling, which will be very good in the late game, in those big fights. And also gets another useful item, the Gauntlets of Ogre, Strength plus 3. But he sells them, alright. I think it's a very good item for either the TC or uh, even the blade or yeah I would keep it even on the shadow gives more HP I always sell clock of shadow sometimes even the ring of protection but I feel like gauntlets is not really an item you want to sell Unless you really need gold. But does Happy really have an army? Only one thing here, and the DK. This gives Infi all the time in the world, all the space to creep whatever he wants to creep. He's gonna be able to steal the mercenary camp here from Happy getting another amazing item, the Potion of Invulnerability. And how is Happy gone, going to fight in the late game against those items? Against a greater reeling and a greater Invulnerability Potion. With the Shadow Hunter already level 3 is gonna get another item here. And it's the Gauntlets again. Don't sell it. Don't sell the item. Alright, but Happy finally manages to take down this shop. But Infi already rebuilding it uh, at his base, now focusing down the skeletons. And I don't know about this undead build here. Um, actually, I already casted a game where Happy was able to beat Lin. But Lin was playing Elf. And Happy basically didn't have an army for uh, until tier three. He had only ghouls, mining wood, and that that's it. But then he was able to rush to destroyers and leech and the third hero, and he still defeated Lin by taking down his expansion with the timing push. But in this game, versus Orc, not having an army. I'm not so sure about that. I think it's gonna backfire because you can't creep anything. And without those hero levels, how are you going to win the fight?
because the matchup is totally different versus Elf, your heroes are going to be better because uh, a Keeper of the Gru and an Alchemist cannot really fight versus a uh, Triple on that hero but Orc heroes might be able to do that and we have a Pit Lord here, a strong hero a strength hero with 900 HP already which is going to be supported by this Shadow Hunter let's see if he also grabs a third hero or if it stays at two heroes and he gets the health stone so I would say without these items it will still be looking good for Happy because his heroes are better in the late game but with those items, health stone, greater healing and invulnerability potion, how do you actually focus down this pit lord? You can't coil him, you can only Nova him. And he has a lot of HP. So Happy finally gets level 3 here. Catches a Tome of Intelligence. Lich is still not level 2 but with good items. Circlet of Nobility, Claws of Attack plus 6 and Glossal Haste, so the Leech looks pretty good. He only needs level levels. Uh, but this Pit Lord, already 1025 HP, Greater Reeling, Hellstone, everything. Shadow Hunter is very squishy, only 575 HP, but he does have the Invulnerability Potion and he can heal himself. So healing is certainly not going to be lacking for Infi, as he's now preparing to creep the lab here, but Happy is going to creep jack him even without the shade. But there's a scroll of speed, Infi can quickly reposition and snares one fin. Goes for it. Let's take a look at the damage of the cleave. That's good damage, but there's a coil. Pitlord already dropping down low, health stone is being used. Catches a Nova. Statue gets ensnared and killed. Pitlord survives. But one raider is going to fall in exchange for the fiend. Maybe the grunt as well. Uh, but there's a healing wave, I think, soon. Alright, the grunt will fall in the end. I don't know if he denied it or not. I don't think so. He tried to, but I don't think he denied it. But this is more space for the pit lord to creep. But another grunt is falling, so good trade here for Happy. Was able to kill two grunts and one raider. Lost like... Uh, one or two fiends. And now he's ahead, 5 food in population. 43 for Infi, 43 food for Infi, 48 for Happy. And there's no expansion for the Orc. Level 4 now for the Shadow Hunter. There's no expansion for the Orc, so... And we see the Acolyte moving for Happy towards his natural. So if Epi manages to expand and if he doesn't counter expand, then it's going to be hard for him in the late game. As we see an alchemist third, okay. So Tavern Hero, which is not an undead hero, I guess it's going to be for the armor reduction. There is no TC in this army, there is no Blade Master, so you don't really need the silence to disable the TC. To disable the stomp and also to prevent the blade from wind walking. But how are you going to heal this alchemist? That's the question. That's the big problem. When going for a, a hero that is not an undead hero, there is no synergy with the DK and the Lich. So let's see. Pit Lord already level 4 with 1300 HP. This hero is a beast. But the Shadow Hunter is exposed now, only 625 HP, and the Invul Pot has been swapped 
to the pit lord. And is Infi really looking for an engagement here? Of course, this camp is terrible because this Dark Wizard level 8 does chaos damage, so it wrecks you, it wrecks your units. You don't want to fight next to this Dark Wizard. I feel like Happy needs to retreat. He cannot take this fight in this position as this wizard is still shooting at all of his fiends. Look at this chaos damage, it's just insane. Why is he fighting here? Get out! He's got the expo, he doesn't need to fight here. He wants this wizard and he gets it. All right. Pitlord on the front line, dealing some decent damage, has to use the Invul pot now, but look at this Alchemist! Where is this damage coming from? It's just wrecking everything! The Leech dropping down, the Alchemist falling! And this Pitlord basically winning the game by himself with the level 2 cleave. I would expect the Alchemist to die easily, as he cannot be coiled, as I said before, but I wouldn't expect the Lich to just totally evaporate, and especially since he was able to finish the creep camp, which was the thing that really can destroy you, but Happy was able to finish the creep camp, and when he finished the creep camp, the fiends were all green. So they were all healed by the statues. So all of that damage came after that, just purely from the Berserker and the Cleave. GG.